How you going guys? Curtis at Cutting Edge Engineering. Today we're going to give you a bit of a sneak peek as to what's in our workshop, its current configuration. We're getting ready to move in one of our new machines. We've got a new lathe coming so we're going to pull down this wall. So we've pretty much got to move everything around the workshop. We're going to relocate the honing machine. Uh, move the mill, move the little lathe, turn our medium sized lathe around and then uh, move our 4 metre machine to make room for the, for the new one to come in. So to start with we're going to get rid of this wall. This wall was put up the first week we moved in. It's doing a lot of boiler making work so this wall was just put up to uh, keep a bit of the dust off the machinery that was on the other side of it. Uh, the wall was made out of a refrigeration sheet that was left over from a previous job that the owners of the building had done and I just utilised what was left over and built a wall out of it.
So I moved the little lathe, found out there was a lot of uh, nasties hiding underneath it, so we thought we'd give the floor a bit of a degrease and a clean up before I moved the other lathe. So we moved the uh, TM26120G with our yard crane. It's a seven ton yard crane, the lathe only weighs about four ton, so it was quick and easy just to pick it up, turn it around and put it back in place. I'm a little bit anal when it comes to uh, machinery being straight in the workshop, so I got this thing millimetre perfect. So now all the gear's been moved, we've laid out some tape to show the footprint on how big the new machine's going to be. So this rust and uh, this pattern on the floor, that's from the headstock of our machine we've just turned around. You also move the radial arm drill down in behind this lathe, move the Delapena hone up towards the doorway, and uh, moved our LZMT up to the front of the workshop out of the road. So this is the morning of the day our new lathe arrives. So we've just sort of shuffled a few things out of the road so we can uh, get her in. So this is the new to us Shanyang number one. It's got 800 swing, 5.3 meters between centers, and about 7.3 meters overall. Machine weighs in at about nine and a half ton. So this machine was purchased to replace our four meter LZMT. Not quite big enough for everything we do. Got us out of trouble with a lot of jobs, but uh, time to bring in the bigger machine. And we've gained about 1400 mil between centres. Now what I've got on the forklift at the moment is actually a big long boring bar for the machine. It attaches to the tool carriage and has a bearing mount inside the spindle. We can actually bore 2.5 metres on one setup with this bar. And at this stage of the morning, we got a phone call that our Frenocrane had decided to cancel on us. So we had to come up with a plan B to unload it. Plan B was our seven ton yard crane and a customer's excavator that's been sitting in the yard for a couple of weeks.
Righto, so we did manage to book another crane to come in later that day to uh, place the machine in the workshop. But in the meantime, the truck had another job to go to, so we had to get him unloaded and get him moving. So along with the machine, it came fully equipped with steadies, tooling, boring bars, coolant tank and a few other bits and pieces. So that's the machine for now. Tune in again with another video after we've got the machine completely commissioned, cleaned up and uh, ready for work. How do I start it? And these are the shitty toolboxes I fucking hate. You made them. I made them, they catch lots of swarf. How boring. That's a big fucking scope. New toy. Smiling. Have a walk. You walk me.